Hey, I'm Dominic Reisig, Extension Specialist in Field Crops with the Department of Entomology and Plant Pathology at NC State University. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about basic mid-season insect scouting in cotton today. You know, when you scout a cotton field, you can't treat each cotton field the same. Each cotton field has unique characteristics and you really need to make sure that you cover what's going on in that field. It may have areas of rank growth or, or um, less rank growth. And these harbor different pest suites. For example, in rank cotton, you may have more bollworms, tarnished plant bugs, or stink bugs. In droughty cotton or stress cotton, you may have more uh, spider mites. So it's important to kind of get a feel for what's going on in that field. Um, one of the things we need to look for mid-season is bollworms. Now we have two different ways to scout bollworms. On that two toxin cotton, the things like Bogard 2, Twin Link, and Wide Strike, we need to be scouting eggs. We're not going to talk about egg scouting today. We're going to talk about the varieties that are coming out that are newer now, these Bullguard 3, the Twin Link, and the Wide Strike Plus. What we're looking for is live larvae. This is what our threshold is based on. You need to make sure that you're scouting both squares and bowls, and you need to make sure that you're scouting them throughout the canopy. So you can kind of scout in the top and find some squares there. And then of course, as you go lower on in the canopy, you're gonna find more bowls. And our threshold is based on um, the number of live larvae and 100 plant parts sampled. I like to divvy it up between uh, squares and bowls evenly and make sure you don't just scout big bowls or small bowls look underneath bloom tags These are places where larvae really like to hide One of the other mid-season insect pests that we need to scout for is tarnished plant bug now early on in the season We recommend using a sweep net and the reason we recommend using the sweep net is it's really good for sampling adults so we use a combination of a number of plant bugs caught in the sweep net plus square retention for our threshold. Now that we're well into bloom, we've got bulls on the plant, we're looking for the number of tarnished plant bugs that you find on a, on a drop cloth. And the reason we recommend using the drop cloth is it's really good for sampling tarnished plant bug nymphs. You notice I have a black drop cloth here, and that's because those nymphs show up really nicely against the, the dark background. Now it's not so good for sampling adults, but really the nymphs are what we care about most when we're treating tarnished plant bug at this point in the season because we know that if we have nymphs those adults have been in the field and they're reproducing and it's those nymphs primarily that we want to manage. Now another important mid-season insect pest that we need to look for is stink bugs. You can sample a cotton field and have a hard time finding stink bugs. It's important to know what stink bugs you have since insecticide choice can vary with species but our threshold is based on looking at internal injury of quarter size bowls. And when we say quarter size bowls, we mean like the coin the quarter. So they're about an inch in diameter. And we recommend that you look at internal injury. Now the reason for that is when a bowl has been damaged, you can tell that the stink bug's been feeding on the bowl by the presence of a wart or callus on the inside of the locule. So we recommend that you just use your thumb and crack them open and look for internal injury. Anything with stained lint or the presence of the wart there, and I can see I have a wart here, tells us that stink bugs may have been the culprit. Now here in the Northeast and, and parts of the black land, when we're dealing with overlapping populations of tarnished plant bug and stink bugs, it can be really difficult to know whether that bowl was damaged by a plant bug or stink bug. And the reason is plant bugs will damage the inside of uh, cotton bowls as well. It's sort of inconsequential. If you've got bull damage in the field, you've got either plant bugs or stink bugs, you may need to manage those insect pests. So just to wrap up, remember you have to treat each field individually. No one field is the same. You need to look for some of the pests directly. And then for some of the pests, you need to look for injury. So pests that we need to look for directly are things like uh, tarnished plant bugs, things like bollworms, things that we need to look for indirectly are the, maybe the presence of stink bugs and plant bugs by looking at internal bowl injury. If you have any questions, uh, you can direct those uh, to me or your county agent. And a really good resource is the Cotton Portal where we have a scouting guide located there. Thank you.